Hello Kingdom Citizens, my name is Denzel Rodriguez, your personal finance geek of the 21st century. On this channel, we primarily cover the velocity banking concept, infinite banking, and kingdom authority. Today, we're throwing those priorities to the side for just a little bit, and I'm going to share with you a little wish list that I have as a kingdom citizen, financial coach, financial consultant, insurance agent, content creator, for now three plus years in business. Um, I have been a part of the network marketing, multi-level marketing, direct sales world, got originally exposed to it around 18, 19 years old. And since then I've been in and out of network marketing companies, had a ton of failure, a lot of successes and a lot of in between. I've seen the good, the bad and, and the ugly and everything in between. And so what this video is primarily about is focusing on the network marketing industry and some things being fully open honest and transparent some things that i personally your finance geek of the 21st century on this youtube channel would love for that industry to improve upon so that more people can succeed faster can have full transparency open honest dialogue up front see all the the good the bad and the ugly and be able to make their decision based off truth facts research and not just hopes and dreams right and, and and a vision in the clouds okay so with that being said let's jump to the board so here is my wish list first and foremost you got to reward producers more come on network marketing companies come on multi-level marketing companies come on direct sales companies i believe you guys can create in your pyramid a structure that rewards people that sell the product and sell the product only and do no recruiting whatsoever i personally am a producer i love sales i love communication i love public speaking i love talking to people i love creating content i love teaching and educating recruiting is just not my strong suit man it's just something i don't really want to do there's there's tons of other ways to make so much money in the world in the marketplace today i don't want to be you know just forced every conversation and every zoom meeting and every convention and every every promotion and every level up and every new thing in your company is always rewarding recruiters but there's really not much on producers i've only come across three companies so far that reward producers to a degree a healthy degree i would say number one united financial freedom uh two legal shield and three cutco the reason why i said that in that order is the companies that i've joined more recently so united financial Fre united financial freedom is a company i joined in 2020 legal shield is a company i joined in 2019 and then cutco is a company that i joined back in 2015 yeah 20 2015 2014 ish around that time and th those three companies if you look at their compensation plan they do at least have a component where they reward producers like you could make multiple six figures by just selling the product you can absolutely do that through any of the three companies and you never have to recruit a single soul now naturally people that you sell the product to may ask you hey how is it like working for that company or what's the compensation like what's the commissions like how much money do you make selling this product and you can share and then you say okay if this is something you want to do here you go right and here's a you know you get training and you get videos and there's conventions, there's all kinds of workshops and seminars that the company puts together for you to learn how to market and sell the product, okay? So that is like a big thing for me is to, to add more layers. Out of the three companies, United Financial Freedom, Legal Shield, and Cutco, I would personally say that Legal Shield is actually the best company I've come across so far that rewards producers reason being is they have a whole component in their pyramid structure they have a whole component 
for people that just want to sell the product. They don't care about recruiting. They don't care about promotions and trips to Maui and Hawaii and blah, blah, blah. They just are people like me that just love the product, think it's great. They tell people about it. You click a link, you, you purchase the product, done. And they either, it's either a subscription model or one-time purchase or recurring purchase, whatever it is. I love that model and I love being rewarded for performance. I simply create content. I tell people how great this product is. I go over the details, what the product does, how it works. I'm very product focused rather than organization, business, and opportunity focused. It's just not me, not my style. I'm a producer and it's even more effective and a lot better when the product comes with some kind of renewal payout some kind of residual payout very very healthy i would say very healthy love it and so out of the three legal shield has a very good compensation plan no matter what your rank is on the product sale itself and then they have a very healthy residual um, income stream for the same product so legal shield has a particular type of product where the customer might have it for 10 years, 20 years, their whole life. Like they just never get rid of it. It's like owning a, a, a credit monitoring or, or identity that's just like owning that, you know, or some kind of subscription like Netflix, Disney plus it's something you're just never going to get rid of. Right. You're just going to keep owning it for whatever. Right. So something set and forget and you get a ton of value from it. That's the kind of products. That's how their model is set up through, through a subscription model, through a monthly, or you can pay uh, on an annual basis. And they have a very unique residual payout of, I think, 10 to 20 years of residual income. That's insane. So I think that's very beneficial. And again, I never have to recruit a soul. I don't have to tell anybody how awesome the company is and that spiel. I can just say here, here's a product I'm using. It works. Bam. Like it. Don't like it. Have a nice day. And I just, you know, it's just becomes a numbers game for me at, at that point. You know, for every 10 people I talk to, three are going to buy. So that's a 30% closing ratio. All I got to do is work on my sales and communication and marketing and and that'll increase that, that number, right? So let's go back to the board. That was just the first one as for my wish list for network marketing companies. Next is the customer experience. I think a lot of network marketing companies are lacking this. You can tell by the Google reviews and how you know you guys are ranking on page one for negative reviews and people hating your products and services when in reality most of the time it was a misunderstanding or you sold it to the wrong person or wrong timing and it very well could be that customer service was just poor you know no matter how good the product is if the customer experience or the customer service is terrible that's all they're going to remember right so i think that's important increase your customer experience customer service and train people like myself and new people that are joining your company to have a focus on that you know ask the client hey are you enjoying the product have you gotten results yet have you seen a change a difference in your life yes no maybe so okay here, what can we do to improve and then allow the the recruiters the salespeople, allow them a channel to report back to the company so that the the salespeople, because that's I think that's another big disconnect is you've got the person that owns and runs and operates the company and they have employees a whole different sector but the people on the ground are the field agents the the salespeople people that are actually going out there and marketing the product you should be giving us a component to actually report feedback in such a way that it actually hits the right people not just some automated stuff, but it hits the right people on the employment side, on the executive side, on the owner side, so that you guys can improve on that end so that we can do a better job selling the product that we know is good, which have to improve that customer experience. The next thing for me is all about increasing transparency. My goodness, I can't tell you how many, and this is more so falls on network marketing uh, leaders not necessarily new people so i'm calling out the leaders the multiple six figure multiple seven figure eight figure nine figure earners in the network marketing world 
please increase the transparency, man. You got all these people running in the wind, just wild, lost. They're saying wild crap that does not align with the company's vision or mission. You just, people are just doing their own things. I've seen that quite a bit. Like you, you can get a totally different experience as a customer and as a person that joins into a business based on who your upline is. It's the weirdest thing versus if I go to McDonald's 90%, 95% of the time, I'm going to get roughly the same experience. When I walk into McDonald's, when I walk into Nordstrom, when I walk into Calvin Klein, when I walk into any retail store that has multiple chains, it is the, the customer experience is likely going to be the same each and every time. And I think when people are joining network marketing companies, uh, some people are incentivized to join this guy versus this guy because this guy's lower in the company and this guy's higher up. Like just provide that transparency, you know, especially if you're someone that's brand new in the company or you're seasoned, been in the game a while, you know, don't come to guy, don't come to people like myself that have a nice big base. And then you sell me on, oh, okay, Denzel, you know, because you have 30, 40,000 subscribers and millions of views and all the, you know, big list, big, big email list and a, a ton of influence. I'm going to start you off here at a 75% commission, 50% commission. Well, you got to understand in my mind, I'm like, that sounds great for Denzel, but what about my client Susie and Joe and Mary and Tom and Samantha and, and all my other people that I'm going to talk to? Like, that doesn't make sense. Why would you put me at a much higher advantage and then expect me to recruit people and tell them you're going to start at a commission of 20%? And you got to work your way up to 70%. And the only reason why I'm at 70 or 60 or whatever the higher rate is, is simply because of the clout that I have, you know, the influence. So I don't really care for that. Again, increase transparency. If that's something you do, just let me know straight up so that I can talk to other people and give them the same opportunity based on their following. Because if you can do it for them, if you can do it for me, you can do it for others, right? So let's not play that game. Let's increase the transparency as well as I need you to wash that commission breath. Focus on impacting the client, helping the client. You'll get paid. Do the right thing. You'll get paid. That's what I believe. You do the right thing. You'll make good money. So wash that commission breath real good. I need you to brush, floss, and rinse. Okay. That commission breath. This is speaking to people that are recruiting people into the network marketing industry there's not i'm not throwing shots i'm being real i'm being open transparent and honest if you disagree comment below if you want to come on my channel and you're part of a network marketing company and you want to have a conversation you want to have a dialogue we can absolutely set that up okay it'll take some time but we can absolutely set that up somewhere down the line we actually have to have a conversation and you have to be a good fit and you know you have to provide that transparent i'm not just going to have you come on and say a bunch of wild things like i need you to bring the the good the bad the ugly everything in between be fully transparent so watch that commission breath and also embrace other ways to succeed oh my goodness i can't tell you what a big turnoff it is when i'm talking to network marketing recruiters trying to get me into their company because of the following that i have and i'll i'll entertain a zoom call conversation whatever it may be i can't tell you how frustrating it is when you guys ask me questions like, you know, so uh, how's your business doing? <clears throat> Great. Thank you. Um, are you tired of, of, of working uh, on your business? Uh, are you tired of working in your business 40, 50, 60 hours a week? Do you want to have a four hour work week? Like, no, I don't. I'm, I'm happy serving my moms day in and day out. I am happy serving my clients. I am happy performing at a high level putting in 50, 60 hour weeks. I am happy doing that. It, it, it gives me a ton of energy when, when I see people's brains turning inside out, having transformations because they were thinking like this and now they've exploded their thinking and they're thinking on a very high level and I facilitated that. I played a part in that, you know, and, and that to me is the biggest payoff. Working four hours a week, how many people can I possibly help working four hours a week? No, it, that I mean, I get it. There's a book called The 4-Hour Work. I get it. I get it. Sure, if that's what you want, cool. 
but it's a turnoff for me if you spin it like what I'm doing is stupid. Like what I'm doing is a waste of time. Like what I'm doing doesn't matter. Like go try to tell Elon Musk to work four hours a week. Go tell Jeff Bezos to work four hours. Go tell Bill Gates. Go tell, you know, uh, Shaq and Kobe Bryant. May he rest, rest in peace. Michael Jordan. Go tell Tom Brady, take a four hour work week. Does that make any sense? Biggest turnoff. So please embrace other ways to succeed. You don't have to join a network marketing company to become a multimillionaire, to live the lifestyle that you want, to have multiple streams of income. It's not the end all be all. And I can tell you, there's so many network marketing people out there that are very like, very narrow, man. It's weird. I'm like, dude, network marketing is designed to be an add on for most people. It's designed as an add on part time, work your way up and then eventually to a full time. Please be transparent about that. Please embrace other ways to succeed. Don't don't degrade what I'm doing or how I'm doing or how I'm performing as like your sales pitch to say that, hey, you could be working four hours a week, 10 hours a week and making double what you're making right now. Like, I don't want to hear that. Tell me about your product. How does it impact clients? What's the customer experience like? What's the how long the company's been a bit like? Give me those details. Tell me how long you've been serving your clients and do you upkeep them? Do you call them? Do you reach out to them or just are they just numbers on a spreadsheet? You know, are they just names on your email list? Like, come on. So please, please, please embrace other ways to succeed. Talk less, listen more. Talk less, listen more. Can't tell you how many Zoom calls and webinars I've been on and network marketing meetings. And all they do is talk, 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 talk. There's like no time for Q&A. They, they go through a one hour presentation I got two words in you know the only words I got in was um I don't know yeah great meeting yeah thanks you know like I I, I practically tune out when I'm getting presented with uh, network marketing companies and in the first 10 minutes they didn't ask me one single question or they asked me a yes or no question not like so do you have any questions so far how's it does this make sense do I need to go back do I need a review like guys need to talk less listen more and please 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 we'll end it out with please show the good the bad and the ugly like let me know how many negative reviews you guys have on google so far because you're a big multi-billion organization and i understand like share with me why this channel this channel this channel this channel is saying that your company is a scam have you done the homework have you looked at why they're calling your company a scam right have you looked at it have you looked at the different youtube channels that are that are anti mlm anti like there's a channel called Illuminati. There's Coffeezilla. There's like sub smaller channels that literally they infiltrate network marketing companies and they expose, they try to expose real pyramid schemes in the network marketing world. There's, there's always a new pyramid scheme, new, a new company getting shut down because of their, their practice models are incorrect, not according to a, a properly structured network marketing company. So show the good the bad and the ugly everything in between with that being said that is my network marketing wish list reaching out to those who are a part of network marketing companies comment below reaching out to those that have been a part of network marketing companies good experience bad experience everything in between comment below let me know your thoughts if you're someone that would like to have a conversation around one of these topics reach out comment below and we can potentially set up a discussion and then some sort of a collaboration down the line. With that being said, my name is Denzel Rodriguez. You can check out the links below, different resources that I have. Have a wonderful day. God bless, and we will talk soon.